hi. Didn't see you come in. I was just catching up on my gay agenda. I'm sharing next week's meeting via Zoom. Hmm. Apparently, almonds are gay now. So, I don't know if you've noticed, but the entire world is currently on fire. So, I've been too depressed to even touch a ukulele, with its consent, for about four weeks now. And I just feel like people are putting way too much pressure on themselves to achieve everything they haven't in the last 30 years just because they're now stuck at home more often. Write that book, learn a language, become a hitman. But if you just want to veg out on the sofa, watching Netflix feeling sad, that's a totally valid option. I highly recommend Three Perfect Strangers. It's both heartwarming and horrifying, which are two of my favourite genres. So one night, after feeling sad for about seven hours, this gloomy little sausage fell into my eye line. And I thought, if we can't handle happy, jolly ukulele right now, how about scary, swampy banjolele? <laughs> yeah, don't play it the low half. Also, it has a spider on it, which is kind of my mood right now. I'm a bit of a secret goth. If I could spend all my money in blue banana, I would. That's why I very wisely spent my isolation time doing this with eight-year-old manic panic. It's remarkable how long that stuff lasts. So, I don't know about you, but I've put on far too much weight stress-eating Easter eggs in the last few weeks. Essential item. So I thought I'd do myself a solid. Don't say solid. You're not young enough to get away with it and it sounds like poo. I thought I'd do myself a favour and go back on keto. And the first day, did the first day today, did really, really well, was eating brilliantly, felt full of energy by the end of the day, and then had an apple, forgetting that that's not good on keto, it's full of carbs. So then I thought, fuck it, I had an Easter egg. Back on the horse tomorrow! We're not stuck at home, we're staying safe, but it doesn't mean these PJs are starting to She's fond of Rowan Atkinson, she rises at the Vatican, so she's in the Covid antigen. Girls on my mum, well thanks for chatting to me, sorry it wasn't everything you needed me to be. My social skills are lacking, as you can see, feel free to send me any inquiry. Although most of you have blocked me with caller ID. I'm fine, I'm good, I'll get through the fog, cause after all I live with my best friend. Thank <laughs> you.